Damn, 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 I'm out of ambrosia. You caught me. Damn. I got to do the toast with some green tea. And some lemon. You know, you could also, hold on. You could also add some cayenne. So I'm a, I'm time traveling and coming back. We're going to add a little bit. So, yo, make sure you join the show. You know, Ambrosia is the mom. But sometimes you might not have that Ambrosia. And you need other health drinks to keep you keep you uh, straight, right? Ooh, one more thing, family. Hold on. I do got that Ambrosia vinegar. All right, stay tuned for the show. Happy Eugene, y'all. favorite cup once again i'm out of the ambrosia so i'm gonna show you how to make another healthy drink all right so you know because the whole piece is drink something healthy right so first we start off with our water get your water That little, look at, look at that little, got that little quartz crystal right there. Mm. So, I'm out of that ambrosia. So, what I'm going to use is, I'm I, I, I'm i feeling good. Um, I'm struggling a little bit because it's, it's madness going on. It's the last couple of days of school and it gets crazy. So like I said, it's our poor today. And my ancestors are kind of, you know what I'm saying, help brother out. Don't solve the problem. Just help me. Just, just point me in the right direction because we don't need nobody to, to rescue us. So what you see here is green tea. As y'all know, I'm brewing, so I got some regular green green tea right which is which has a whole bunch of health benefits and I have a lemon one lime and you're gonna cut that so this is gonna be my health drink today since I can't have ambrosia I have one of the major ingredients of ambrosia and I just don't want to have um because I'm doing a warrior diet I don't want to start the day off with the uh, with raw honey necessarily it's good for you don't get me wrong it has a bunch of healing qualities but it still has 
uh, but form of sugar. And those that's on a warrior diet, you don't necessarily want to start your day off with a, a, a strong sugar like this right here, honey. I mean, this this lemon has sugar in it. Also has acid and other things. But when I water it down, is is a little bit different than taking straight honey, especially raw honey. So we're gonna squeeze it up in there before we do our toast. We're gonna have green tea and lemon. The, both of them will clean you out. One open up the mind. This one is real good for thinking. You know what I'm saying? Also gonna provide a little kick with that uh, uh, caffeine in it to help start the day. Then this lemon is a cleanser. times when 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 the supplier of the ambrosia is out of it but we started brewing so in the next couple of days we will have it now i had to cancel my show last night and i'll talk to y'all about that in, in a minute um here we go now also if you want to do this drink you can add some cayenne pepper to it as well and it'll help clean you out. Actually, I got some cayenne. I would do that. You can add the coconut oil. You can add, even though it might sound strange, the palm oil. You know what I'm saying? I mean, you could you could really you could really make you a nice little health drink in a, in a couple of seconds, right? Something to help get the body started because that's that's basically what this is about about right? Getting the body started, right? So now first. We're gonna to toast the creator by whatever name you choose to call that creator. Um, we call it we call on the creator to bless us, to guide us, to strengthen us, to remind us of who we are, right? And to and to move us to who we are supposed to become. We toast the creator and we say I shay. From there we move to our personal ancestors. We call on them, we ask them to guide us, we ask them for their wisdom, we ask them for their love, we send them love. Um, um, we, we always remember that hell for African is being forgotten and as long as we are alive we will make sure that our ancestors are never forgotten so we call on them Miles Brown, Ms. Ann Robert Tech, Sonny Davis, Ron Brown, Senior Rose Lee, Tilly, Georgia, William, Walter, Christopher, Fanny Gaston, Aunt Lena, Uncle Chris Geneva Brown, Cleveland Brown Margaret Ellis, Cecil Ellis um, Jamon Jones John Villard um, uh, Dr. Barry Ann Williams, Elder Donaldson, um, Elder Donaldson, Pastor Yusef Weston, um, Sepet Maha Ra, No More X, you know what I'm saying? Um, any of the ancestors that you could think of, your personal ancestors, like I say, we want to call on our, our personal family tree, so call on them, you know what I'm saying? Ask them to make the way easy for you. You know what I'm saying? But, uh, you know, like I said, we don't need them to knock the problems down. Just give, just show me. Just show me where the crack in the wall is, and I knock the damn thing down myself, ancestors. All right? Um, and we toast them, we say, I shave. From there, we move to um, the present moment. Today is Ujima, and today we really gonna, we're going to do a little talk about collective work and responsibility. Of course, I'm going to find a way to connect it to the breath and everything else we've been working on. So, we toast um, this moment because this is where our power is and we say, I shake. Um, uh, we toast our children, our children's children onto infinity, right? Because we toast them in advance right now so they can, they can toast us later on and we say, I shake. Last but not least, we toast the challenges. Right, because it's the challenges that make us. Like I said, we ask the ancestors to move before us. Um, to kind of, you know, um, like like I said, make the way easy or just show us where the cracks are so that we can overcome, you know, because without struggle, there's no growth. So if we start asking for in the sessions, in situations where we need to go through, we won't be able to be prepared for the next step. So we toast and we say, Ashay, Ashay, Ashay.
peace. I wish y'all peace, power, and 100 years. Pretty good. I want some ambrosia though. Kim Carswell. I want to thank y'all for tuning in. So, I had to cancel the show last night. Hope tips for grown folks. Hopefully, the show will be going on tonight. Tribal quotes. It was a crazy day for me, fam. Like I said, we just need the ancestors to um, just show us where the cracks are. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I ran into a major challenge yesterday and I just was extremely tired. So I just came home and went to sleep. How you doing today? So, and we all go through those days, right? But today is Ujima. I'm going to kind of talk about it, right? Because, and I'm doing Facebook. I'm about to get off so I can focus on YouTube. Because the one thing we we need to really focus on on a day like this is to collect the work of responsibility. And one of the major, one of the major chinks in the armor of building culture, of building nation, of us working together, is this whole idea of the rugged individual. Um, and I kind of covered this before, but I feel I need to go into it again, because we, f we believe the myth of the rugged individual in America. It's about me and mine, right? And there can be no success as a group as long as it's about me and mine. You know what I'm saying? We got into this mess as a group. We're going to get out of this mess as a group. Right? And when I say mess, I mean from the whole from the whole captive trade. So, you know, all those that's been speaking with me, y'all understand what I mean by the captive trade all the way up to this point in time. We got into this mess as a group. We're going to get out this mess as a group. So with that, uh, Facebook, I'm about to move over to my family over here on YouTube. Y'all you know, all fam, but, you know, about to finish my YouTube piece. I want to thank y'all for joining the toast. I salute y'all. I lift my glass to you. I say peace. Alright fam, so before we really get into our discussion and our, get your supplements, you know, some of us need supplements, I kind of need my supplements this morning, and you know, every now and then, I have an experience that makes me rethink all of the stuff that I have been doing my for my entire adult life. For those that, that know me, you understand I have been consistently um, trying to build something. Trying to build something, not just for my children, but for all of my children trying to leave a legacy and I feel that 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 is my responsibility that's my responsibility regardless of what's going on around me because I, I firmly believe that my children's destiny is connected to the destiny of other especially black children right um one of the things that, that sparked me into getting into the work that I'm doing as far as young people, and I shared this before, I mean, I, you know, I'm old, I repeat stuff. But one of the things that really got me doing what I'm doing, oh, for those that, this coconut oil, we talked about that, you go back, check out that video, red palm oil. 
black seed oil. One of the things that got me doing what I'm doing, because for those that don't know, I, I, I work with young people. I've been working with young people for a very long time. Right now, I'm working with a younger group of kids than I'm used to. Well, I, I usually do middle school enough. Right now, I'm doing kindergarten up to eighth grade. But one of the things that really got me working um, with young people is uh, I had a, a nightmare uh, years ago. Let's just say a dream. I had a dream years ago that a young man was asking me for help. And I paid him no attention. I didn't give him no help. And I walked right by him. And the same individual that I refused to help murdered one of my sons, or murdered my son, or so that. And from that point on, I've been out here hustling. I've been out here trying to help, right? Because I honestly believe that we have a collective destiny. And, um, if we are going to succeed, right? If I am going to see my success is going to come not just from my efforts, but also the efforts of other people around me. And my success is going to affect other people around me. I mean what I say when I say we got into this mess together and we're going to get out of this mess together, right? This is why, because listen, this is why I'm pushing this this whole breathing piece. And once I re one, once I really start processing it, right, um, how we breathe affects how we think. How we eat affects how we think. How we drink affects how we think. But nothing affects how we think as pertinently and as quickly as the breath right so now this is why I'm talking about this whole breathing thing right this is why everybody in the group of challenge I'm stressing this whole breathing thing because I honestly believe man that one of the reasons we can't get together is that we are infected with, uh, with people who don't breathe right with people who honestly believe, I mean, because it's like, and it's so easy to fall into it, because I fell into it yesterday, where you could, your whole breathing pattern change, and you fall into like a trance, and you can't stop yourself, it's like, you know, even though you know you, you know, you lose control of you, family, right, you lose control of you, because you fall into a rhythm of breathing, even if, see, even because I, 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 I have been practicing nose breathing for a long time. Even when you're breathing with your nose, if somebody come in <laughs> and they hot and they start yelling and shit, it's hard for you not to do it, right? And it only takes one of us to set this whole shit off, right? Especially with each other, right? Because it's like we think we don't need each other, Right? The fact of the matter is, family, we can't grow and your kids can't grow. I have I have adults tell me I don't give a damn about anybody else's kids but mine. I want y'all to think about that. I don't give a damn about all these kids. The only child I'm concerned about is mine. Right? And this is this is how we think because the myth that we are following right now is the rugged individual and it's all about us and this is the thought process that we got and the way that we breathe and the way that we eat all shows that this myth is true. We got meals that are made for individuals. We got meals that are are designed to be made quickly. We got restaurants where we can stop and we can get our one thing just for us and our family, right? We got the uh, we got the whole system designed where I got my own social security number. I got my own check. I got my own job. I got my own um, uh, uh, um, time.
tiny cave that I can exist in, right? So all the things around us enforce the illusion that it's just about you, right? And it's just and it's just about those seeds that directly come from you, not realizing that we are operating within ponds. We are operating within groups. We are operating within tribes and everything we do affects everyone else in our tribe and beyond. And everything that other people do affects us. So when we come into a place and say, I don't care about nobody but mine, me and mine, what we are, what we are doing, we are forcing an illusion. We are forcing a false narrative. We are forcing a false myth that in turn is destroying us. Right? When I say something like that, when I carry on like that, I'm not showing because today is Ujima, which stands for Collective Work and Responsibility. I'm, I'm erasing the collective. I'm destroying the collective right there. Boom. Collective. Or I don't need to work with nobody else. I can work with myself. So the illusion is that you receive a single check, right? And you are being paid for your efforts, right? And in most cases, some will feel, you know what I'm saying, that if we don't work at where we work at, that that whole place is shut down. But you are just a piece in a wheel, right? Even if you own a business, you are part of a collective. You work as part of a collective. And if you send your child to the school, whether you just concerned about your child's development, your child exists in a collective. Right, and by you not applying yourself in that collective, by you not being active in that collective, you are robbing your child of the full potential of the learning capabilities that are in that, of the learning opportunities that are there at that school. Right, you know what I'm saying? Um, for you thinking about just you at your job, you are robbing yourself of growth opportunities that may come from that collective, right. You're not building that collective. Why? Because you're just focused on you, right? Because the individual is the individual that builds the collective, and it's the collective that builds the individual. It's a process, family, right? And we can't even focus on that. Why? Because we're caught in a, we're caught in what 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 my sister Terry Hassel would call stinking thinking, right? We're constantly we're caught in a negative loop where we are constantly one. Starting our day off, not doing, I mean, we're starting our days off wrong, we're breathing wrong, we're eating wrong, we're acting wrong, right? And and the whole the whole idea behind the whole Nguza Saba challenge is to change that. Why? Because I'm waking up and I'm thinking about Ujima right off the bat. I'm thinking, I'm thinking about righteousness. There's no need for righteousness if it's just about you. I want you to think about that. We're talking about collective work and responsibility. We're talking about righteousness. We're talking about respect. We're talking about the law of vibration. All of these things are, are principles, laws that can only operate in a collective universe. I don't need to talk about righteousness if it's just about me. I don't even know any, any religion that it's just about you, right? I, I don't know. I, no. Islam is about a group because everybody pray at the same time. Everybody's working together. There's no need to, 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 to take care of the poor if it's just about you. Christianity is about groups where groups come together and do things and, and remind each other about, about being right and, and doing charity. There's no need for charity if it's just about you. I don't know of any other group of people. I don't know of any spiritual systems. I don't know about any education that's just about you. 
Because there's no need for principles. There's no need for anything else. So if it's all about, if it's just all about you, right? And and let me, let, let, let's get rid of this part of the delusion, right? There's nobody that is successful, family. Nobody that is successful that did it all by themselves. I keep telling y'all, y'all need to do you. You need to do your research, man. You need to look at any one of the people that you might look up look up to. There is none that made it by themselves. No professional athlete, no mathematician, no 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 physicist, no um, soccer player, no race car driver, no principal. You know what I'm saying? No owner of a business, no pastor. There is none that made it by themselves. So how is it that we could constantly get caught up in a solution that is about me and mine? My daughter's success is hinged in indirectly on your child's success. My daughter's success in school is dependent on her teachers being able to reach her. My daughter's success in school is dependent on her family support. Not just and not just my, not just us here in this house. Family, the whole piece is there's no need for collective work and responsibility. There's no need for righteousness. There's no need for respect. There's no need for vibration. There's no need for justice or self-determination. There's no need for unity. There's no need for cooperative economics. There's no need for purpose or balance or rhythm or creativity or order or cause and effect. There's no need for faith. There's no need for harmony. There's no need for trust. There's no need for gender if it's just you. There is none. The whole reason that we have a principal system is so that we can learn to work together. That's the whole reason for it. Our ancestors, our ancestors, our creator put us in this situation for a reason. And we keep running up against these goddamn illusions that our enemies have laid out for us and following them as if they are the laws of the universe. This shit is not designed for our success. And until we realize that and we start operating appropriately, we will always get smashed. We will always lose. We're playing by rules that were laid out for you. We're playing, we're following rules that lead us into a trap. Family, how can you live in a place and not realize that you are part of that place? You know what I'm saying? You, you live... You live in a certain area. You live in a certain block. You are part of that community. And I know, I mean, but we operate as if we're not. This is why our neighborhoods are a mess. Some of them. I know some of y'all that got perfect and beautiful neighborhoods and shit. But where I'm at, it's a goddamn mess. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, boom, how can I improve it? How can I work with it? How can I keep my kids involved? How can I keep myself involved? How can I work with different groups? And I said, I am not. I do my breathing. I set my rhythm. I try to set the rhythm. And it's it's like, it's, listen, family, ever since I started doing this, this whole really stressing the breath part of the Nguza Saba challenge, I have been challenged almost every day. Day. I have never ever ran up against some of the shit that I have ran up against in such a rapid succession. Never. So I know that what the fuck I'm doing is on is on point. Family, focus on your breath. Sign up for the Goose Subject. Get your eye shape breath. Practice your eye shape breath. Practice your rhythm, your rhythmic breath. 
And I'm telling you, the challenges are going to come. And I know a lot of y'all like, Brother Hatem, I don't need no challenges. Yes, you do, because that's the only way we can grow. Last night, I had to bring my ass home and lay down because I, I had to go to battle with somebody. And then I had to go to battle with myself. And I had to see how, how I was acting, was affecting other people around me. And I had to see how they reacted to me afterwards, right? Whether the, you know, with the support, the disagreement, it don't matter. The, the, but what mattered was how it came to me, how I was able to process it, how I was able to look at it and to grow and be like, how can I not fall into this trap again? Family, I'm so appreciative of you. Um, be on the lookout. Because Miss Gina G will be having a show. It's called the Gina G Project. So I'm putting that to helping her put that together. So I appreciate it. Those of you um, out there, if you got kids, you can let them watch it. You, know, you can watch it yourself. Because she's going to just be doing some stuff. But the piece is, we got to start our children off young. Right? If you have a child that's on, on YouTube and you want to get views or whatever, you know, let me know if you have something on YouTube, please, because when you subscribe to me, I don't care how many followers you got, I'm coming back and I'm subscribing to you. If you friend me on Facebook, more than likely I'm going to friend you on Facebook. You know, I know I got to watch out for that type of stuff, but my whole piece is, I got my ancestors, y'all. You know, I, I still, I still do my due diligence, but I got my ancestors, y'all. I have, it, I, it have demonstrated to me without a shadow of a doubt when, I mean, because, listen, reciprocity, <laughs> the whole family, listen, I haven't seen this shit work, right, so these principles work, so the days of Jima, we on collective work of responsibility, righteousness, respect, uh, and vibration, all these principles rely on us working as a group, every last one of them. You know what I'm saying? There's no need for principles if we are individuals. We were never individuals. We don't need to buy into this whole individuality piece. Hell, I mean, we don't even need to buy. I mean, the the I mean the the whole the the whole idea of freedom is fucked up. And we need to talk about that. I might talk about that tomorrow. A whole idea about it is fucked up. Right, and the whole piece is we got to always operate from the collective because it's the individual that makes the collective prop uh, possible, and it's collective that make the individual prop uh, possible. And if either one of them are out of whack, then the other one is out of whack. You can't have an individual without you can't have a let me say you can't have a healthy individual without a healthy collective, and you can't have a healthy collective without a healthy individual. It's a paradox, and the universe runs on paradoxes. And until we understand this shit, until we are I mean it ain't even complicated. Until we are able to operate within that family, we always gonna be fucked up. Always. It's kind of crazy because you wouldn't be who you are without your children, but yet your children wouldn't be who they are with, without you. You see what I'm saying? It's a paradox. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's a divine paradox, and it's from these divine paradoxes that growth and miracles happen. You take a male and a female, and you combine them, two opposites, two opposites that can't exist without each other and you bring these two opposites together paradox and out of that paradox you have a young being that is born you bring a positive a masculine idea and a feminine idea together two opposite ideas you bring them together and out of them spring a new miraculous idea Right? They have to struggle. You know what I'm saying? That 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 that, that, that opposite has to be forced. It, it pushes in and out of the conflict comes this the birth of something great. Don't you understand? Right? The very things that we don't like, the very things that we try to dodge, the very things that you have been socialized to avoid are the very things that you may need to confront. So that you can grow. 
so that we can grow. Because family, when you grow, I grow. Let me say that again. When you grow, I grow. Those of you that are tuning in to these videos, all 10 of you, right? Because I, you know what I'm saying? I, all 10 of you, I appreciate every last one of y'all. It don't even matter to me, I mean. But the point is that all of y'all that tune in this video, we are connected. We are collective. Right? You are part of a collective. And when you see me doing good, guess what happens to guess what happens when this vibe rushes through here? Right? Because you are part of part of the collective of Giamme. Because you are part of this family, because you are a collective of the Guza Saba Challenge, or however you are connected to me. Because you are because you receiving gifts of this ambrosia. We are connected. And when you do good, I do good. And when I do good, you do good. Right? It's something about how that flows. And as a as a community, as a collective, as a culture, right? We got to start. Allowing the energy to flow So I'm going to allow my energy to flow with you And once again I'm over 30 minutes I apologize family I'm trying right? I didn't even know what I was going to talk about today You know what I'm saying Because I was so Y'all got to understand family I'm Your brother catching it But I feel good I feel good I feel blessed I, I, I'm, I'm honestly glad That the ancestors and creators Are, are, are hitting me with why? Because it gives me an opportunity to reflect and say, dang, brother, manage your breathing, breathe. Everybody take a breath with me, come on. Let's get that nitric oxide, come on. Let it flow and open up all the brain blood vessels. Allow it to flow through your whole entire body. See, and check this out. Let me give you an idea. Because I got to tell you this one, family. Listen. Let me show you the ultimate collective. Right? You're looking at it. The ultimate collective, right? You're looking at a reflection of the ultimate Organisms working together to make you. Your eyes are separate from your eyes are separate organs. They're separate things that work on it, it, it's different. Let me let me say this. Your body is composed of different parts, different organs, all working together for one thing to survive. You ultimately. Collective work and responsibility. If you ever are in doubt of this shit existing, that if it's possible, look at you. Look at you. Your ears are different than your eyes, and the cells in your ears are a little bit different than the cells in your eyes, and the cells in your eyes are a little bit different than the cells in your nose. And you got all these, you know what I'm saying? You got your lips, you got your teeth, you got all these different parts of you that are different that decided that they wanted to come together because the only way that they could survive in nature was by pulling a being like yourself together. And they hold you together. And y'all live an incredible life. You have an entire universe rolling around inside of you. The ultimate collective. And cancer is when a part of that collective start believing that it's an individual. When sales inside of that start rebelling against that collective because they don't believe that they're part of that a part of that collective. So they start separating themselves and they start operating as individuals. Family. We, you know what I'm saying? In our collective, we gotta start where we are. In our collective, we gotta get rid of the cancer. Family, I am because you are. You are because I am. So, a healthy collective 
recognize an individual, but an individual recognizes a collective. And it's bigger than just the family, fam. You know what I'm saying? It's bigger than that. It's bigger than the tribe. You know what I'm saying? But it, it, it builds all the way up to humanity. Right? But it starts where you are. Right? Right now, I'm a black man in America. Until I'm able to bring my collective together. It don't matter if I focus on humanity or not. I got to take care of where I'm at first. If I'm not taking care of where I'm at and building from here out, I'm fucking up. It's sort of like being like that cancer cell. That cancer cell might be looking at a at a bigger picture and is working on getting towards that bigger picture. But in the meanwhile, because it's not focused on what the fuck it's supposed to be doing, it's destroying the rest of the body. It's about getting your center together. Damn, all right. Um, I'm over. I'm sorry, family. It's, it's, it's flowing, right? So I'm out. Thank you for watching the video. I want you to subscribe. Click the bird right there, the fiery bird. And I also have a special video just for you right there. And for those that want more information about Jamie Journey, go to our site. It should be right about there. Peace.